Hello, Laura. Hello, Todd. It's me, your friend Brad from Cincinnati. And first of all, I'd just like to say congratulations on your engagement. I'm sure you two will have a very happy life together. I have to confess some disappointing news. Remember back in January when you left Cincinnati and moved back to California, and you told me to take good care of that plant that you had in your living room? It's now May, and I think that I've watered it like twice since then. I had good intentions, um, and I really did mean to water it and, and to keep it looking nice and, and prune it and stuff. You know, I just got busy and it kind of slipped my mind. So the plant is pretty much dead. Remember my roommate, Nate? Well, he, like you, has also moved back to the West Coast, back to Washington State, where he's from. Before he left, he tried to nurse the plant back to health, but really there was nothing that anybody could do. It's dry. The leaves are falling off. The branches are toppling over. The, the, the potting soil's parched. It looks like it's got cracks in it like a desert. So today, I think I'm going to throw the plant out with the trash. It's really kind of sad and depressing. And in a, in a lot of ways, it kind of is like a metaphor for our friendship because I feel like ever since you moved away, I've been dead on the inside, um, like the plant. The moral of the story is, if anyone's out there and they want me to like house sit for them or watch their pets while they're on vacation, don't do it. Ask someone else. I don't think I'm very reliable. Good intentions only get you so far, and I wanted to really care for the plant. I did, but... It's gone.